I looked into the neuroscience of obsession, and what I discovered was fascinating because if you've ever wondered what's happening inside the brains of the world's most successful artists, athletes, and entrepreneurs, this is it. See, obsession isn't random. It's not just some people are born that way. It actually taps into three major networks inside your brain, and when all three are switched on at the same time, everything changes. Your focus sharpens, your motivation feels endless, and suddenly you're not forcing discipline, your brain wants the work. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how obsession works in the brain, and by the end, I'll show you how you can actually train it. And once you do, you'll realize obsession is the ultimate cheat code to becoming unstoppable. So let's start with the first system, the salience network. Think of it as your brain's focus filter. It's the part that decides what's important and what's just background noise. Most people, their salience network is basically asleep. That's why they bounce between 10 different projects, scroll TikTok every two minutes, and never actually lock in on anything. But when you become obsessed with a goal, the salience network flips a switch. Suddenly, everything you see, hear, and think about runs through one filter. Does this get me closer to my goal or not? Imagine two students sitting in the same lecture, one zoning out, checking Instagram, half listening. The other, their brain has locked in. Every word the professor says connects back to their obsession, maybe building a business or mastering a skill. Same environment, but one brain is literally filtering the world through purpose. That's why obsession feels so powerful. It doesn't just give you focus, it erases distraction. And here's the kicker. The more you train your brain to lock in like this, the easier it gets. Which brings us to the second system, the one that actually makes focus addictive. Now we move to the second system, dopamine. And let's clear this up right now. Dopamine is not about pleasure. It's about pursuit. See, most people think dopamine is that happy chemical you get when you eat pizza or binge Netflix. Wrong. That's just the cheap version. The real power of dopamine is that it rewards progress. Every step forward, no matter how small, gives your brain a little hit and trains you to want more of the goal. Think about a video game. Why do people sink hours into leveling up a digital character that doesn't even exist? Because every quest completed, every point gained, every level up drops just enough dopamine to keep you chasing the next reward. Now imagine if you hijacked that same loop for your own life. You set a big goal learn a skill, build a business, get in shape. And instead of waiting until the finish line to feel good, your brain lights up after every rep, every page read, every dollar earned. That's how obsessed people stay locked in for years. Their brain literally reprograms itself to find joy in the process, not the outcome. And when you combine this with the salience network, you're not just focused on the right thing, you're addicted to chasing it. And finally, the third system, the prefrontal cortex, the executive control center of your brain. This is the part that turns raw energy into strategy. It's the difference between being motivated and actually making progress. Think of it like an air traffic control tower. The salience network already told you what's important. The dopamine system is giving you endless fuel to chase it, but without the prefrontal cortex, you're just a rocket with no guidance. This system helps you plan, prioritize, and here's the big one, say no. Every obsessed person you admire has mastered this. Athletes don't just train harder, they design their entire schedule around recovery, nutrition, and practice. Entrepreneurs don't just hustle blindly, they set up systems that multiply their output. And here's the kicker, the prefrontal cortex also controls delayed gratification. It's the voice in your head that says, yeah, I could waste three hours scrolling TikTok, or I could lock in on this one thing that actually matters. Obsession isn't chaos, it's focus with fuel and discipline. And when these three systems fire together, you don't just want your goal, you become unstoppable. So how do you actually train obsession in your daily life? It starts with one thing, make your goal impossible to ignore. Obsession doesn't begin with willpower. It begins with environment design. Here's how. Step one, anchor your salience network. Write your goal somewhere you can't avoid it, on your lock screen, your mirror, even sticky notes around your desk. The more your brain sees it, the more it flags it as important. Step two, hack your dopamine system. 
break the goal into micro wins. Don't wait six months to feel good. Celebrate small steps. Write the paragraph, do the workout, send the email, and reward yourself immediately. Step three, train your prefrontal cortex. Set rules that cut out distractions before they even tempt you. No phone in bed, no quick scroll breaks, no saying yes to things that don't move the needle. Remember, obsession isn't about doing more, it's about doing less of the noise and more of the signal. If you install these three habits into your daily routine, you'll start to notice something crazy. Your brain begins rewiring itself. The systems we just talked about start working in the background, filtering, fueling, and focusing you. And here's the part most people don't realize. Once that switch flips, your goal stops feeling like discipline and starts feeling like who you are. And hey, if you want to keep rewiring your brain for success, hit subscribe. That way you don't miss the next one.